the missed periods and all of the negative pregnancy tests, it got really exhausting. Um, and then the icing on the cake was when the doctors told us, if you plan on conceiving naturally, it's not gonna happen. They told us that we were both having reproductive problems and that it just was not possible for us to do that. After almost nine years of being married and five of those years trying to have a child, guys, it is finally here. It's baby day. Let's go. It's day one. Lonnie is a couple weeks past due, but she hasn't gone into labor yet. However, we still want to go to the hospital because we don't want to chance anything. People say, I wish there was a, I wish there was a book on life. We elected to deliver at Salzbach Hospital in Germany. They have a great reputation and track record for working with Americans. They also have a lot of different labor and delivery options. So that's where we are currently. When we got to our family room, they didn't waste any time. They fed us and they immediately got Lonnie started on her induction medication. Lanny is being induced because she's having really good contractions. They're maxing out every single time. However, she has a lot of amniotic fluid, which is causing those contractions to be ineffective. Baby is also small, so it's hard for him to engage with those contractions also. So we spent this time relaxing, hanging out, loving one another, as this is our last time hanging out as just chilling Lil. We are about to add a beautiful addition to our family, and we cannot wait. Lonnie told me that after the second and third induction pill, the pain, more so than anything else, really started to heat up for her throughout the day and night. Day two. Although last night was really rough for Lonnie, she woke up on this day with a new energy. She even told me that for the first time in a long time, she felt like herself again. She was confident that today is the day we will meet our son. She was right. Within a matter of hours, they were rushing her into the surgical room for an emergency C-section. Curtain for her head. Okay. Before the start of the operation, and when this curtain is laid up, I think you image you can see David monitoring this. Okay. Okay. So, is the baby gonna be taken somewhere else, or are they gonna the put her on? The baby comes out and get to me, and I will check. Uh huh. Everything's fine. Uh -huh. After one minute, can baby come to wife on breast? Okay. After five minutes, beef operation room inside. It's cold. Go in the living room, baby get if you want so, skin to skin to you, and you can have bonding with okay. baby, okay? Awesome. So I go in and I pick you. Okay, thank you. Lonnie experienced complications during the operation, and eventually they had to put her to sleep. After he arrived, I immediately turned my attention to my wife Lonnie. I asked the doctors and midwives several times, 
what's going on because she was still on the operating table. When is she going to get up? When is she going to be able to see her son? Oh my goodness. Yes. Not this bad. Oh, yeah. such a strong baby. He came out. His head was cold and he was like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, John. It's okay. You can dress again in your normal clothes and then go out on the other door there with Ray. Okay, where am I? Here, Ray. Thank you, the other door out. Technically, this is my first time laying eyes on him because I was so concerned about my wife, Lonnie. He's so precious. Right now, we're being wheeled to another room so we can do some skin-to-skin -skin bonding time. We did skin-to-skin -skin for close to two hours, which was perfect for our situation because the doctors and midwives told me that Lanny will be asleep for close to two hours. So we used that time to regulate his body temperature, connect, Oh, don't cry. There's really only one thing to do now. teary nights, negative pregnancy tests, doctors telling us no, feeling like our prayers weren't even hitting the ceiling, we can finally say, we did it. Healthy baby, healthy mama. Don't cry.